up our meeting. Setting it up. Okay. Yeah. And we are live. And we're going to do brackets in a little bit. Yeah. Just checking the script. Got the brackets ready. Bracketing. Checking my face. Gaff tape here. I'm going to see if this pen works. Uh, it's going to be a good show. Good show. Good show. Yep. It's going to be a good show. Oh, yeah. It's going to be real good. <laughs> Making cookies for the monster. Everyone knows it's time to ponster. Put yourself into a face and leave the face inside a place. Hey, Mr. Pooties. Okay. <clears throat> Four. Three, five, four, three, three five, two, five. Hello, everyone. Chip Tannen alongside Red Birkins. How you doing, Red? Doing good, Chip. All sorted out down below. Glad to hear it. I'm sure the missus is too. Oh, she gone. Shifting priorities. Well, our focus is still laser sharp on what we want. We've got to fill these brackets with names. And whose names would that be, Chip? I think you know, Rhett, we talked about this last week. Merely a rhetorical response, Chip, meant to ingratiate us to the common viewer. In that case, here in this hat, in these hats too, I have the names of every past competitor on Hard Ass Trivia. Well, not every past contributor. Competitor. That's true. Those in an open lawsuit against the show will not be competing in our Tournament of Champions for fear of recrimination or retribution. It's our Tournament of Champions, people. We're picking our matchups randomly tonight for our October 5th and November, uh, I'm sorry, our November 5th and November 19th shows. That's right. We've broken our contestants into two categories and let me tell you, it was pretty easy. The winners and the losers. <laughs> On November 5th, those losers will go head to head to see who is the worst loser and thereby almost a winner. We'll also fill out some of our champions bracket tonight for our November 19th show. That's right. The winner of the champions bracket We'll go on to face our winner from the loser's bracket at the end of that November 19th show. And then we'll really know who is the top of the heap. Cream of the crop. Head cheese. Goat milk. Toe milk. Queen of the hill. Bob's burgers. Let's get to picking. All right, here we go. Our first matchup in the champion's bracket will be, let's stir these around a little here. Okay, we have <clears throat> number one, Michael Joplin. Ooh. Winner of the sports competition. That's right. And Aaron Sions, our Winner science. of the science competition. Aaron that should science. be interesting. That's Aaron true. Science coming back. And Michael Sports Joplin. There's no way to, to rhyme those things. That was fun. Should we do another one, right? Sure. All right. I'm going to pick two more names if my name isn't Chip Tannen. It looks like our winner from the music, Robert Scobia. Yes. He'll be going up against the winner of TV. Liz Miller. Liz Mill. Intriguing bracket choice. That, that should be interesting. Your fingers really do something there, Chip. Well, my fingers do a lot of fun things. I know. All right. <laughs> the winner from our art show. Shannon McCormack. Shando Mac up against. Oh, this will be interesting. Shouldn't that be oh, interesting? Oh, David Buckman. David She's Buckman. Clearly our oldest bracket. <laughs> Interesting. Very funny. Very good. Both of them are over 50, I believe. Yes. Significantly. <laughs> Significantly. All right. We've got a couple more here. Our next matchup is going to be Upside Down Chewy. Hopefully he'll do the whole show, he'll do the whole show upside down. That's true. Ah. Yep. And he'll be up going up against Karen. Uh, that's Kareem, Chip. Ah, Kareem. Yes, sometimes I don't I can't know it, Karen. Even, can't even read my own writing there. There you go. But yes. Karen Badra. All right, the final matchup here. Let's see who we've got. Who's left? If you know at home, you already know who's in this final matchup because you've watched all the shows. You know who all the champions are. And it appears that Kenny Madison, our movie champ, is going to be going up against our comic book champion, Devin Coleman. Interesting. That'll be sure. Rhett, you okay? 
I just miss her so much. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of that, let's move to our losers bracket. Okay. They have a different hat. Here's their bracket. Losers. It's on a Burger King napkin. There's actually more losers. On Chip, our... I once got busy on a Burger King napkin. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you got the nose job. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Pronounced first... with an umpty, Chip. Umpty. Oh, is it... Sorry. <laughs> oh, here we go. Our first matchup in the losers bracket is. Can you read that? Can you no. see that? Adam. Adam Protector. Oh, I missed that show. I don't know that person. Oh, he's great. He was, when the, he was one of the music losers. He lost. He lost, and he said, you know, I'm much better at movies. And since then, I've seen him doing podcasts and Twitch streams about movies, and we should have had him on the movie show. Well, we didn't. We sure didn't. 2021 is not that far away, and we're going to do more shows, hopefully then. Going up against Adam Protector is Michael Trejo. Trejo. Yes. He's he was on a sports, sports show. Season. Lost by one to yes. Michael Sports Joplin. Sports Joplin, that's right. So that'll be an interesting matchup. Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next, we have Yamina. Ah, Yamina was, I think, on our, was she on our very first show? I don't know, but she lost. And she she's sure going did. up against MJ. Michael MJ Jordan. Kang. All right. That'll be interesting. Should be interesting. Huh? Interesting. All right. That should be interesting. That should be right. Okay, next matchup. Let's see, Margaret. Margaret. Yes, Margaret Hunsaker, Margaret yes. Rose. Yes, up against Jesse Swartz. Ooh, that will be interesting. That will be inter That will be an odd pairing. That is going to be. That's a spinoff right there. Yes. Oh, that's a sitcom and a half right there. Yep. For sure. And this is another one that we totally miscategorized her. She should have been probably in the music show. That's true. But um, our talent booker uh, was your wife, and now she's gone. She's, well, yes, gone. She left. Okay. I mean, to be honest, she left. She but couldn't she handle the gone. situation down there, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's an uh, invisible triangle. Perfect. Oh, nope, that says that Kara. They were in our art competition. They were in the art, yeah, they lost. Let's see. But actually, Kara... Kara was actually in the art show, wasn't she? She, wrote, uh, she was in the science show? Was she art. in the art show? I think she, she was in art. Does it really matter? She lost. Nope. nope. Anyway, she lost. So she's in the loser's bracket. She's going up against Lahari. Lahari done. Lahari done. I think, she, was she our first show? In music? Lahari one and done. Ah. <laughs> Up next, Casey B, who I want to thank for styling my hair today. Yeah. Casey Beeler. Casey B is Kabir Baja Biamilla from the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> Actually, no, it's Casey Beeler. She's in, oh. in Austin. Oh. Yeah, she should have been in the art show, but she wasn't. She was in the sports show because we had to fill in at the last minute. And she That's was right. Great. She, she was terrible. Out. She was awful. She was the, she got a negative one. She might have been our biggest loser ever. She was. She got a negative one. The only player on Hard Ass Trivia to ever end up with a negative score. Unfortunately, I wish more people would have. She was really fun, though. We loved having her. And then she's going up against Maggie May. Oh, that'll be a fun matchup. A fun battle. KCB, Maggie M. Now, Kamir Baja Biamilla. Something about the, something, there's a quirk here in the bracket. See that there, Rhett? Yeah. Did <laughs> you see that? I do now. Two people, two people, two people. And then we had a, a, a number that didn't work. We had 13. So you see at the bottom here, our first, in the first round, boy, this virtual background, I tell you what. All right. In the van, they're freaking out in the van, right? They sure are. Someone's getting fired. They're Someone's... always freaking out in the van. <laughs> Three people are going to go head to head in the first round. That's head to head to head, Chip. Head to head to head. That's right. And it's going to be Alex. Walker, she's gonna, she's gonna slot right in there. She was our scientist. She was a, a well, she was a loser scientist. But she was a scientist. Going up against Harrison. He was not a scientist. No, he's never been a scientist. He'll never be a scientist. Nope, not with that attitude. And never. Paul. 
Paul Hungerford. Hungerford number. I don't recall Paul. Paul Hungerford. He's no. small and swarthy. Not ringing a ball. Not ringing a ball. He rings my balls, Col Chip. Cold <laughs> Chip. I like to call you Cold Chip because it makes me feel good about myself. Well, I appreciate that, Red. I'm just here to make you feel better. Now, um, it looks like we're all done and we've gotten everything we need. So that's it, folks. These are the last two shows of 2020 and maybe ever. We're not 100% sure they want us back. We're not 100% sure we won't be locked in a bloody civil war in the streets next week. T tune in this Thursday to find out. I mean, for November 5th for our Losers Bracket show. And then on uh, Thursday, November 19th for our Champions Bracket to see who takes, uh, takes home our big, beautiful trophy. We have a trophy? Uh, there's no trophy. It's all happening on the Fallout Twitch stream, 9 p.m. Central. That's twitch.tv slash fallout comedy. We'll see you then. Good night and have a decent tomorrow. Don't die. Let's awkwardly end this. Don't die. Awkwardly end this meeting. I'm going to end it. Here, here okay. comes the end. All right. It still says live on Facebook. I have no idea if it's done. Well, this is going to piss you off. You just the be live for a long time. We have we been live at all? Yes, we have been live. People were people were watching. I don't know. Maybe we should just end the meeting then. So we can get I don't on know how to. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. What if, it, what if it didn't cut the stream and just followed us around all day? <laughs> I think that would be amazing. <laughs> right. I think the stream well, is still happening, but uh, I'm going to end the meeting now. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Goodbye. I knew it would be awkward. Bye. Bye.